Welcome to A Million Beginnings, part one of the Million series. My name is Sabrina Rudolf and I'm the author of this book series, which is the first project of Envision Publishing. So in the beginning of this year, 2021, together with my sister Anja and my best friend Saha, we had this amazing idea of writing a book in a genre that we couldn't find much, but that we really would love to read more about. And this genre is K-pop romance. So for those of you who don't know what K-pop is, K-pop is South Korean pop music that started out to be a genre only known in Korea, of course, but throughout the years evolved and became an international success story. And for us, we've been following K-pop since 2009 and have been listening to the music and have been informing ourselves about the artists. And even up to now, it's still our favorite music genre. Also, the three of us used to live in Seoul for a while, so we have a special connection with the country and the culture. And now we got to write a book, a K-pop book, which is combining uh, two of our favorite passions, which is on one hand K-pop and Korea, and on the other hand books themselves. So all of us have been reading books uh, since our childhood, and I think none of us will ever stop reading uh, in the near future. So we got the chance to fulfill a dream and write a book that we as K-pop fans would really love to read. And this book turned out to be A Million Beginnings. And it's my honor to invite you on our journey and to watch the following uh, making of of A Million Beginnings. So have fun! Where to start when writing a K-pop romance book? As we couldn't use an existing K-pop group for our original book, our first step was to create our very own K-pop boy group. The band name Millions was an instant decision that we settled on the moment the names were mentioned. It gave us the image of millions of possibilities, dreams and, in that instance, ideas. Once the band name was there, the rest came about just as easy. The group wouldn't simply be a new debuting group or a group managed by a successful music label, but it would have a more challenging background story. Millions successfully debuted five years ago, but after only three years of activity, the group disappeared mysteriously from the public's eyes and went on a two-year hiatus. Now they are back, parting ways with their former music label and starting their own preparing for a comeback to the stage all by themselves. So who are the guys behind Millions? First, every K-pop group needs a leader, so Junyoung came to life. Junyoung is the eldest member of Millions and one of the main rappers. He is also involved in the music production for Millions' album. He is strong, protective of the other members, he mostly handles their company and seems to have one or the other secret. Then there is Taejun, the protagonist of this first book. Tejun is the second eldest and main vocalist in Millions. He is also a talented pianist and composer. Within the group, he is teasingly called the Omma, or in English, the Mom. He likes to cook and take care of the other members. He is caring and soft, but can also have his head strong and, as our female protagonist will quickly find out, his flirty moments. Shiyu is Millions' all-rounder. Rapper, dancer and occasional singer. He is an easygoing and quick-witted guy who takes over the business development department in their newly founded music label. It's his job to get millions deals for commercials, performances and sponsorships. He is also something like the mediator in the crew. He is ready to cheer you up or give you a piece of his mind if necessary. Next is Minso. Minso is the main dancer and one of the singers in Millions. Among the fans, he is known to be handsome and beautiful. Dancing since his early teenage days, he is graceful and one of the best performers in the industry. But being beautiful and talented doesn't make his life necessarily the easiest. There are definitely some downsides to this and Minso is struggling with his own issues. Aaron is one of the best singers in Millions and unfortunately for an idol, quite shy with strangers. 
He loves art and photography and is quite involved with the media department in Million's new label. He is someone who is still trying to get comfortable with who he is and what he can do. Brian is one of the main rappers in the group. He was born and raised in Australia but has his roots in Korea. He is cheerful and happy, he likes colorful fashion and a good cuddle here and there. He is cheeky and cute and brings a certain light into difficult situations. And then there is the youngest, the magne of the group, Unkyu. Unkyu is also one of the main vocalists in the group. He is confident in his own skills and likes to tease the other members. He seems to act cold a lot, but deep down he is very caring and loves the other members a lot. To his annoyance though, he can't escape from being treated like the cute youngest member that he is. Now we have this amazing and talented group of male idols trying to navigate the entertainment industry and become a successful boy group again. But how to bring love in this story and how to give the reader the best insight into this whole world that we created for millions. We wanted a strong female character that the reader would sympathize with, but we also needed a way for the reader to spend as much time with the millions members as possible. So Sohi was created. Sohi is a business-oriented young woman who worked and studied hard most of her life. Her family isn't exactly rich, so she tried her best to never be a burden for her parents. Now, after finishing her MBA in the US, she is back in Korea and in need of a job. Seeing the potential of starting with a newly created music label led by the idols themselves, she agrees to their job offer, even if it wasn't the position that she wanted. She would start as one of the managers for millions. As manager, she is taking care of their daily needs, handles their schedules, and watches out for their health. She is mainly in charge of the younger members of Millions, but cannot escape the attraction that she feels towards Tejun. Tejun and Sohi have this kind of relationship where he starts to develop feelings for her early on, as he likes her no-nonsense attitude towards the idols and the way she treats them like normal guys. Sohi, on the other hand, is drawn to Tejun as he likes to challenge her but he is also incredibly caring with the people around him. However, as first he is her boss and second he is an idol, she will absolutely not allow herself to indulge in these feelings. Following their relationship, you will find everything you need in a romance. Funny moments, friendship, fights and tension. But in the end, the book doesn't just give you a romance. It also focuses a lot on the friendship between the members of Millions themselves. You will witness the process of Millions' comeback, the creation of their album, and get some insight in their idol life and the challenges that come with it. It is a wholesome book about the life of a K-pop idol boy group. So if you want to find out if Millions is able to rise from the ashes and become a successful K-pop group once again, if you want to get to know the Millions members themselves and read all of their storylines, and if you want to tag along as Sohee and Taechun figure out their relationship, deal with some issues and fall in love, then please support our Kickstarter, become a part of the official fan club of Millions, which is called Millionaires, and buy yourself a copy of A Million Beginnings. Feel the bass drum, booming in your face, son.